Hello, this is the other guy, and welcome to a 001 game creator tutorial over player classes and I don't know what you call it, stat stat choice or stat uh, I, I don't know what you call it. Essentially, allowing the game to make decisions based on whether or not the player has high enough stats in certain regards. So before we do any of that, we are going to show off the class system then show the stat thing in effect and yeah so we have three classes to choose from human cyborg or robot we're gonna go through the three of them because the first one was human this is cyborg and then the next one is robot all it changes is the character's movement speed um, we can also go ahead and equip a suit so change into suit and then let's change our class oh I forgot to actually set it up so it didn't add the face back on which is fine because we can remove helmet and you know that face is then there um, and literally the player would only be able to choose their face once or choose their class once so it really doesn't matter um, anyway I'm gonna go ahead and restart and go over here currently my character's stats his tech skill is zero and so if we walk over to the generator it says the generator is old needs a, and seems unstable. Need a tech, scare, a tech skill of 5 to repair. Well, that's pretty normal. We can go over to this computer and get instantly get 5 tech skill. So we're going to do that, and we got tech plus 5. So when we walk over to activate this, it turns on. We also turn it back off and back on. We could actually set up proper dialogue saying, you know, players repaired it and give experience based off of that. Um, it doesn't matter. What matters is, I guess quickly going over how it works now the class system actually is just it is whatever you need it to be and I know that sounds really obvious but currently mine is simply uh, three player faces and this is a face category thing or a face category sprite with the animation just going in each of the directions and the player has this form which is just the basic suit model and uh, it's got four frames of animation so the faces match it and it literally is just you know a very basic overlay system but for the actual script it is just the player choosing one of three options and then changing the face appropriately to match what when you want. I also went ahead and set up class storage, which is uh just basically choosing, you know, if it's zero then the player's human, if it's one then the player's a cyborg, if it's two the player's a robot. And you could do that with any or any specific like a uh, player race or specific anything you wanted to do with it. You could also set one up for just specifically player class rather than race and yeah, currently all it changes is the amount of uh, air the player uses because this mechan or this game that I had uh, used a air mechanic, and I'll show that off in a second. Currently, uh, humans run at 15, cyborgs run at 17, the robots run at 12 because, you know, speed differences. I felt like it gave a good visual effect. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show off the air effects. So, the player, if they walk outside without a helmet and without an air filter, this blue bar will steadily start draining. And that was a big mechanic in the game. Uh, and I never got this finished. This was a prototype. And I ended up using parts of it to make another project. Um, and once that drained, the player's energy would finally start draining. And then the player's health would start draining. And it's draining very slowly. And that's not terribly unexpected. Um... And it refills when you enter buildings. So if we go over here, we change to Cyborg, it will drain much slower. See, it's only draining one notch per time. Uh, and that's the class bonus. The robots don't use any. So you can be outside for as long as you want. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's pretty basic. Um, and that is all dependent on... Yes, I want to save, go to the HUD, and it's all dependent on this. And I literally just set up basically a class storage branch, 
and it checks, okay, if the player's human, it brings it down to here, and then it checks to see if the player's wearing a suit, no armor, if they're wearing uh, the helmet or not, and then drains oxygen dependently. And if the player is a cyborg, it does the same thing but differently. Uh, I won't actually go over that in this video just because I kind of wanted this one to be a bit quicker. Um, if you do want me to actually go over it, how that system works and how to set up a similar system, I can. But as of currently, I'm not. Um, but for this, all it is is checking the player's current stat against x value and you just go to stat current statistic and then check tech against greater than five and so if the player has greater than five technology they can act or interact with it whereas if they don't it displays this message and it goes ahead and checks that current actor variable and out of five we could also go ahead and set up, like I mentioned earlier, a once branch that says, you know, you managed to repair the uh, generator, uh, and then set that up along with, oh, uh, experience. I don't use experience too much on this. Alright, uh, let's add 50 experience. And then that would connect to that and repair the generator. So it turns on. And now every other time it will just do that and the player will not continue getting the experience for repairing the generator. So we're going to go back in and show that off. So we walk over to the computer, activate it, get our extra experience, or not experience, get our extra, what do you call it? Generators on. Yeah. See, now I have 50 out of 600 experience, and I can also go ahead and continue turning it off and on, and we don't get more experience. Um, anyway, that's all I have for now. Uh, some possible videos I'm wanting to do in the future is also a weight system and that uh, actually has object carry weight to it so let's see if I can set this up it, here I'll just go ahead and set it up through this real quick uh, no I went to the wrong thing mm, floating storage currently in party okay all right, and then we'll run through here. All right, so now we have the floating storage. Uh, manage, oh, manage items, store take items. And then we could go ahead and, here, I'll actually, I have a testing item equipped for sword animations. And we can go ahead and de-equip it and show that off real quick. So store take items, take items, or oh, store items, put the sword in, talk to it, then go to take mode, and we can take the sword. Um, I don't think I actually have a proper statistic set up, like in this area. I need to have, you know, current player weight set up, and I do technically have that set up, I just don't have it active. Um, but it will actually remember whether or not the uh, player is carrying the items and it will stay there so that's neat uh, and if you want to see me do a video over that and the weight system just uh, leave a comment let me know uh, until next time this has been the other guy subscribe if you want to if not bye